Peggy 3. Welcome to this video on overlapping runs. We're going to examine how active AI has an impact across the whole pitch and affects all situations. So this is a situation that you should be fairly used to seeing in, in PES 2011. Uh, the player out on the wing there is going to fail to make an overlapping run, which is going to cause play to break down. However, in PES 2012, as you'll see now, the players will always be anticipating your play. Before the player here even gets the ball, the player on the wing is already making a run, um, and he'll be altering his speed accordingly. In this situation, you'll see a player coming from deep, making a diagonal run, and continuing that run right the way along the line, eventually getting the ball in with the cross. Finally, you'll also see how midfielders here support the attacks, pushing the ball out wide and again making an overlapping run. Looking at another feature now of the active AI system, we're going to talk about diagonal runs. OK, in uh, PES 2011 we often saw this situation, a player running along the wing, failing to find the space, making a straight run and ending up in a group of players. And then when he passes it out wide, the player on the wing is going to do the same thing, ending up in a, a poor shooting situation. In PES 2012, by comparison, you'll see that the player makes a run here in front of the line of the defence, and that ends in a scoring situation. Uh, here you'll see a player making a really interesting darting run between two players, again resulting with a goal. In this video, you'll see how the active AI now encourages dummy runs to provide more options and create space. Dummy runs aren't going to be made all the time. It'll depend on the situation and the player's abilities. Here you'll see a player up front dragging a defender out of the way. The player behind him now has space to move into. And he gets the shot off. Here again you'll see the support striker making a run to drag players out of the way and in this case he's going to leave space for the pass to be made into. In this video we're going to take a look at how the active AI affects all situations and how that extends into defending. In PES 2011 You'll see here when we stop the video that the formation of teams at times could be really haphazard. You'll see here that the space in between the defensive line and the midfield line is far too big, allowing the player to drift into the space, get a shot off. In PES 2012, we're going to pause the action here, and you should be able to see that the communication between the defensive and the midfield lines is much better. So the team generally tries to hold its shape much better uh, and it results in less player bunching. We've already seen how the active AI affects formations and defending. Now we're going to take a closer look at how the active AI affects individual decisions. So at the top of the screen here, circled in yellow, you'll see one player marking his man there. Uh, but then he'll spot that in midfield the danger has changed, so he'll come towards the ball and the man at right back will now fill in for his position. In the centre of the pitch here you'll see the defensive midfielder holding up play and then further back you'll see other players are continuing to mark the dangers which is cutting out the possibilities. These decisions are being made right the way across the pitch all of the time and it counteracts the new attacking possibilities that we've added into the game so that the balance is just right. Turning our attention now to a brand new system which is called Off the Ball Control. In the past, we've made piecemeal improvements to throw-ins or penalties, rather than making sweeping changes. 
In this situation, you'll see the throw-ins that are affected, but it also affects every dead ball situation that you're in. It encourages you to pick a man and try and make space. Uh, here we're going to move on to a regular free kick. Now, the player's going to switch control away from the kicker using the right stick and cycle to a player he feels is in a good position. He's going to make space, and then we see the header on goal. Moving on to goal kicks here, you'll see again the system affects the situation. My right stick changes the player that you're controlling, and then you're calling for the ball either along the ground using the X button or in the air using the circle button. Here we see the system being used for a corner situation. The player is going to select the man at the edge of the box there, make a late run, and again a chance on goal. It, it's a fantastic new system, really increases the level of freedom in PES. So that's the end of this demo video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, or go check out the Facebook page and our YouTube channel.